For years, the south of London was known as a deprived area, famous for crime. Areas such as Peckham were at the epicentre of the riots in 2011, which increased its unpopularity nationwide and created unease in the local community. The regeneration since 2011 has been phenomenal. Peckham's become a creative hub, home to the younger generations of creatives, which moved in in search of cheaper rent. Since the riots, there have been massive efforts to rebrand the area, to shake off its negative reputation and to attract new people. One of the businesses at the forefront of this is Canavan's Pool Club on Rye Lane. Kieran started managing the club five years ago, just as the riots were starting. He has turned it into a multi-purpose space which now hosts regional level pool tournaments and popular music events. Over these years, Canavan's has emerged as a surprising binding factor in the community with the club opening up to everyone from local school kids to up and coming DJ. What we offer at Canavans, um, between three o'clock and eight o'clock every weeknight, we offer free pool for the kids. Um, and on a Saturday and Sunday between 12 o'clock and eight o'clock, we offer free pool for the kids. Um, we actually have the London County Junior Pool Team um, practicing out of here and they play out of here. Um, and at the minute I think we have nine different pool teams, junior and senior, junior and senior. Down the road from Canavans is the Bussy Building. The building has been a part of the Peckham scenery for 120 years and is now home to several businesses, including a rooftop cinema, a gospel church and the record store Rye Wax, who are another good example of the important role independent businesses are playing in this multicultural community. There's only like two communities in Peckham though, I would say. There's like the kind of new people that have come in and the people that were here before. It's important to always make sure those boundaries get, get knocked down as much as possible. People that are already, they're already here, they've been here forever. And we want to make sure that it's their, it's their space as well. You know, we, get, we reach out to whether there's the, the guys running the reggae stores and they want to come down and run some tune or like we had a, a gospel thing in there the other day. It's just make sure that ev everyone feels, feels like it's their space. Despite the valuable work they do, these businesses are often at odds with the council. In 2015, Bussy had to fight a motion to turn a derelict portion at the front of the building into 11 luxury flats. This would inevitably lead to the closure of the venue due to noise restrictions. Another example is the multi-storey car park in the Peckham Multiplex. The car park has been scheduled for demolition for a while and was at one stage to be turned into 800 affordable artist studios. The council overturned this and instead wanted to convert the space into 18 luxury flats. This was again overturned thanks in large part to the work of local pressure group Peck and Vision. As the area begins to shrug off its dark connotations, it is once again at risk of losing the cultural identity that is making it attractive to new people.